okay in this uh, video this is the problem we are going to discuss a t section 150 mm into 120 mm into uh, 20 mm is used as a start of a 4 meter long with a hinged at its uh, both ends calculate the buckling load if uh, young's modulus for the material be 200 gigapascal okay this is the problem given then this is the cross section given when the columns are both in pin support situation, it will buckle forming this kind of curvatures. This is how the columns are buckled when the both in a pin support situation. For the both in pin support situation, the Euler buckling load is given by this equation P is equal 5 square EI divided by L square. Okay, let's see how to solve this problem. Okay, the this is the uh, cross section given when using this uh, Euler buckling load equation P is equal uh, phi square EI divided by L square when using this uh, Euler buckling load equation we are making one assumption we are assuming the load acting on the column acted through the area centroid of the cross section for this the T section somewhere in here the area centroid the resultant acting on this cross section acted through the area centroid of the cross section so then in this uh, equation the e is given e is equal 200 uh, gigapascal l also given l is equal 4 meters then i i is the unknown i we have to calculate when you are going to calculate the i value the problem is which i value we have to substitute so we can draw the infinite number of axes through the area centroid. Let's take the horizontal axis xx. Let's take the y axis as uh, yy. Through this uh, centroidal point, we can draw the infinite number of axes. Infinite number of axes. So then we are having the infinite number of the second moment of area values. Among this uh, second moment of area values, which I value we have to take. Here we have to substitute the minimum I value. Minimum I value. When we are in this the direction theta angle, we can take the different I values, but we have to substitute the minimum I value. We have to find the minimum I value. Around the minimum I value, the buckling load minimizes. So when increasing the load, it will reach the minimum value first. So, it will buckle around the minimum I value axis. So, then how we are finding the minimum I value axis? Okay, let me explain the theory behind this uh, case. If you take the arbitrary area like this, let's take the central point uh, C. Then, if we take the vertical and horizontal axis uh, like this, let's take this is uh, xx. This is uh, yy. Then around the xx axis, let's take uh, ixx. Around the yy axis, let's take the iyy. If you take the any inclined axis, let's take uh, theta inclined to the positive x axis. Let's take the theta angle. Let's take let's mark this uh, i value around this axis as i theta. Then I theta is given by this equation. I theta is equal I x plus I y divided by 2 plus I x minus I y divided by 2 cos 2 theta minus I x y sin 2 theta. Here you can see that I value is a variable of theta. So in here we have to find the minimum or uh, minimum I value. To find the minimum I value the, by derivating this equation with respect to theta by n equal to 0 we can find the minimum and maximum values. So d i theta d theta and equal to 0 we are getting the minimum and maximum I values. By derivating this equation, we are getting this equation 
for i maximum o i minimum is equal to i x plus i y divided by 2 plus so minus inside square root inside square root i x minus uh, i y divided by 2 plus i x y into square here this is the equation for the i maximum or minimum value here i x y mean the product moment of area this uh, product moment of area is a uh, zero for any cross section having the symmetric axis and a coordinate axis coincide with this uh, symmetric axis as this i x y the product moment of area is equal to zero in this case you can see for the t channel section this uh, y y axis is the symmetric axis and also the coordinate axis also y y so these two are coinciding for in this case i x y value equal to zero the product moment of area equal to zero so then this equation can be reduced i max o i minimum is equal to sorry in here the square then this equation can be reduced i x plus i y divided by 2 a plus so minus i x minus uh, i y divided by 2 then i max o minimum is equal to i x o i y i x x o i y y so what does it mean for this case the minimum l i value is developed around i x x o i y y so we have to calculate the both i x x and i y y to find the minimum uh, value okay if a cross section having a one or more symmetrical axis around a symmetric axis the i value maximize or minimize and perpendicular to that axis the i value minimize or maximize in this case around for example if i value is maximized around y y axis around x x axis that will minimize then uh, i value for all other axis by varying the theta value we can uh, calculate the infinite number of uh, i values all other i values uh, lie in between the in lie in between these two values i x x and i y y this is the if this is maximum this one should be minimum if this is uh, minimum uh, maximum this one should be minimum so we are going to check we are going to find i x x and i y y okay let's calculate the i x x and i y y to find the minimum i value okay uh, before we are going to calculate the i x x or i y y we have to find the centroidal point c let's take uh, from the base uh, the distance from the base to the central point let's take it as the y bar so then i'm going to write the equation to find the y bar the first moment that produced by so i'm going to divide this uh, t channel section area into two let's take this is the first area let's take the this is the second area here we are going to calculate the first moment produced by this uh, axis axis passes to this uh, base that is equal to uh, y bar into total area 150 into uh, 20 plus here this uh, length is equal uh, 120 100 into uh, 20 that will equal to uh, moment produced by the individual areas first moment produced by the individual areas let's take the area 2 something uh, centered as this point this kind of point for the uh, area 1 centered somewhere in here okay uh, acting at the intersection of diagonals acting at the intersection of diagonals so then uh, first moment produced by this uh, area 1 let's take the total area 150 into uh, 20 
into distance from the base to the centroidal point here this one is equal uh, 120 here the 10 110 the plus the moment produced by the area 2 the total area is equal 100 into 20 into a length from the base uh, 50 if you take the y bar the y bar is equal 86 uh, millimeters okay then we are going to calculate the ixx value axis uh, passes through this uh, central point let's take the horizontal axis passes through the xx and the vertical axis let's take uh, yy ixx here to find the ixx i am going to use the parallax theorem so let me explain the parallax theorem if you take the arbitrary uh, area a let's take it's a centroid let's take this is a centroid if you take the uh, second mode of area axis passes to the centroid let's take it as a ic then if you want to calculate the second mode of area produced by uh, by this area around this kind of axis let's take the ixx uh, XX. then we can write ixx as ic plus a a d square the d square mean the parallel distance in between these two lines this is called uh, parallax theorem this is the theorem we are going to use to calculate the ixx because uh, we are going to find this uh, individual area one i value separately so then we are going to transfer it to the this uh, xx and also we are going to find area two i value then we are going to transfer it to the uh, xs axis Okay, let's uh, calculate the let's uh, calculate the i x uh, i value for the area one. One over twelve, the b one hundred fifty is cube twenty into q. Then plus a d square. What is the area? One hundred fifty into twenty into the distance. Distance here. 86 mean the 14 here is 10 uh, 24 into square 24 into square 24 into square the plus for the second one 1 over 12 the b the 20 h 100 plus a d square what is the area 100 into 20 the distance here it is a 50 86 36 into square then we can calculate the ixx ixs value is equal to 6.09 into uh, 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 meter into 4 this is the ixx then we are going to find the iyy iyy Again, I am going to divide this uh, composite area to two areas, area 1 and area 2. Then I am going to find the area 1 uh, second mode of area separately, area 2 second mode of area separately. Then we are going to add these two. For the first area, 1 over 12, the B, H, under 15 to Q, plus 1 over 12, the B. H 20 into Q. For IYY is equal, IYY is equal 5.69 into uh, 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 meter into 4. Meter into 4. Here you can see among these two values, this is the minimum value, this is the maximum value. If you take any other axis faster to this uh, area centroid, that i value around that axis the i value lie in between these two values okay then uh, next uh, we are going to calculate the buckling load we are going to use the euler buckling load equation for both in pin support situation this is the euler buckling load equation okay, let's substitute the values for this equation phi square the elastic modulus of the material is uh, 200 gigapascal 10 to the power of 9 
second mount of area this is the one we had substituted 5.69 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by length of the column is uh, given 4 meters 4 into square so then we can calculate the euler buckling load the p is e is equal 702 kilo newton okay uh, this is how we are solving this kind of uh, buckling analysis uh, problem using the euler buckling load equation okay thank you see you next time